the players to watch. Uh, and they gave us a very, very tough match in, in the Mumbash. But uh, truth be told, we also want to, to make sure that you close this chapter of the Champions League as quickly as possible in terms of it. So we'll be looking for a chance maybe to, to get the three points. And the most interesting thing about the game tomorrow is that they have much specific. They must come at us. And always an open game suits a team like Manuel and Sandals. We always strive on uh, teams that will, will come strong against us and give us a touch taking us. Uh, they've got some very influential players, JJ. It's very influential to the team, it's very influential. Trezumpo too may be old, but uh, when he came in in those few minutes, it caused us a lot of problems and even scored a goal. So we, we know what to expect from them. And uh, we don't take this game for granted because one, they are backs against the world. So they will give a very good result because they know they have to get a result in our, in our game tomorrow for them to stay in the hands uh, within the group. Because if anything happens on the other side between and, uh, Al Hilal, they know their chances are getting limited. The number of games are getting smaller and smaller. So we, we are fully aware. It's, it's not a we can take for granted. And it's not a game that is going to be easy. We are playing against the five times champions of the Champions League. We are playing against a very formidable team, a team with a lot of pedigree. But uh, Sundowns also wants to write its own story and write its own history. So it's very important that we approach this game with an open mind and give it up a shot. And hopefully by today tomorrow, we should we should be guaranteed a place in the quarterfinals, and that is our wish. And we are not taking that for granted. Fight for it. We will give it our best shot. Thank you so much, Coach. Shubi, if you could just kindly assist me with just to facilitate the exchange from the media. Uh, you raise your hands, I will acknowledge the hands. Members of the media, uh, kindly just raise your hands if you would like to pose a question to Coach Paniti. Uh, there are no hands. Is there, by show of hands, can we have the first take of this? I see it's a uh, similar way of me. Go ahead, then after that, they leave it, then uh, front run. So you may go ahead, the fashion. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Shupi. Uh, good morning, coach. Uh, well, obviously, they, they normally play their football out in, uh, in, 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 in on, on AstroTurf, on AstroTurf. Uh, do you think that, uh, you know, grass tomorrow might be a bit of a challenge for them and an advantage for you? Thank you. Yeah. Probably the same thing is what they support us when we went to play against them, because we also hardly play in an AstroTurf. And... Uh, I think it's easier to play in a normal pitch than to play in an AstroTurf. It's quite difficult to adapt from a team that is used to playing in a normal pitch on a grass uh, when you have to play in an AstroTurf. But it's a, it's a little bit easier to adapt from an AstroTurf to natural grass. So I don't think there is much advantage in the space. Uh, probably the advantage that we, we, can, we can always say because the challenge. Uh, in as much as it's not a very long distance, a long distance flight. Uh, they are not familiar with playing games at night. Uh, they normally play during the day. They may not be some of the players who might have issues with their eyesight and all that. I once had that experience uh, when I was still somewhere. I thought my player was top. But suddenly I realized which he only survives with contact it's only when we were playing at night when he had forgotten his contact lenses, that's when I saw a very strange movement. But uh, to, the truth of the matter is, we, we know they will be coming guns blazing. They will not be those minor minor uh, advantages or disadvantages that they might be having. They will keep it like a shot. It's, uh, they are backs against the world. So we must place ourselves for a very tough match. Uh, the leader, then uh, front run after that. <coughs> Okay, thank you. Um, uh, good morning, Coach. Um, 
let, let's let's talk about uh, the fighting spirit. Character and and how important. Your line is not very clear. We can't follow you. Please send me a WhatsApp, then I will call the question on your behalf. It's about the fighting spirit. Can we move to Frank Rana after that from Mr. Stusa? Please send me the question again. Uh, testing, can you hear me, Shupi? Fidel from Front Runner. Okay. I can go ahead. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Coach Panmoba, Sundowns has been unbeaten in over 20 games now, if I'm not mistaken. Does that, is that, does that target on your back put pressure on you to, to, to do well or you, you relish the, the pressure? Uh, of this unbeaten run that you have right now. Thank you. Uh, to be honest, this was something that we always focus on. And uh, in my coaching history, I think one thing that I've always managed, with, even with smaller teams, I, I don't lose easily. Uh, I do lose, but not very easy. So when when Sundowns has got the material that we have and we are able to 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 play so many matches without a loss, it's probably based on the quality that we have from the technical coaches I work with, the analysis department and everyone, the medical team, conditioning department, everybody works very hard, and the players are buying into our playing concept and what we are trying to achieve with them. So we, we are never really focusing on records. We are focusing on each match as it comes. And it's always better when you are competing in so many competitions because uh, you will end up losing track of what you want to achieve if you are focused on all these records and all this uh, beaten or not beaten run. But if you give it, if you give match all the attention it deserves, the analysis, the training, the preparation, uh, then the participation, which does a lot of players to give it everything they can give based on everything that we would have done to make them aware of what you expect. In so personally, I'm not even looking at the records. To be honest, I, I think even with, with similar teams like Polinaros and Amazulu in the past, I used, I may not have won a lot of matches, but losing is easy. Can we get Komoto, then followed by Zakele, then the one from Freddy who will be the last question. Oh, thanks, Chupi. Uh, morning, Coach. Um, I hope you can hear me. Yes. Yes, me. Um, just to touch first on the... What can you attribute this good run to? Uh, we normally see teams struggling a bit in the Champions League, starting slowly, but looks like Sundowns, they've hit the ground running, and obviously because of experience. But this time around, there's something different about the Sundowns team. You know, you even lost, and it uh, looks like you might even go to the you know, finals without even losing a game in the group stages. What can you attribute that to? And also, I see uh, Mazembe TP, they have arrived in South Africa as early as Friday to, to show how they, you know, how seriously they take this game. And they've also reported that some of their players who were not there for the first match are back, as Chibangu and Mika Michi. Have you gone through the team to see uh, the players who are not there in the first leg to anticipate what they can do in the second half? Have you gone through the, you know, as part of your preparation? Thanks. Thank you, my brother. We first on the on the run. Uh, it's our wish to keep playing well and keep winning matches. It's what always work for. But uh, what brings that probably is a lot of cohesion, a lot of teamwork, a uh, lot of dedication, and mainly attention to detail from the analysis department, from the coaching staff. I'm working with top coaches here, Coach Rulani, Coach Steve, Coach Wendell Robinson. Uh, don't miss too much in terms of detail. Uh, and our training preparation is always geared to, to attend every issue that is needed in that micro cycle, which is then the period between two matches. We always give attention 
to a particular opponent with its transnational. So based on that, it, it's always easier when you've got so many brains uh, and they are focusing on just one thing to make sure that you dominate. And coming to, to the Mazembe team, when we went to play in, in Mazembe, we had anticipated the team that they are likely to play tomorrow. And there is not much difference to us. Uh, I think Shibangu is the one who did not play. He's a very important player playing white, coming inside from time to time, looking for opportunity and to shoot. Very influential player, hard working as well. Uh, Mika played second half. They did not start him. It's a transition not to start him in the midfield, but uh, he did get an opportunity in the nine stages of the match. But other player that did not start, whom maybe they might consider to start with, which might con compromise a little bit of speed in their play, would be Tresil Mputu because uh, he scored against us and he got another chance even after scoring. So they might consider starting with him, but if team, they might lose the speed and the aggression that they have because Mputu in as much as is so dangerous, but uh, he's no longer as, as, as fast as in the past, he's no longer as, as uh, intensive as he was in the past. So he might not give them much in the top. He might not give them much in terms of running behind the defense. They got so decisions they have to make and take some compromises, but uh, most of their compromise likely to, to go the road probably of an all out attack, which would be playing two strikers uh, immediately. But when you do that, you're also open in the midfield. Uh, and if you play a high line because you are trying to put us under a lot of pressure, you are giving us a very good space behind your defense. So we, we, we've got an idea of what to expect and the chances of them sitting back and they don't have any benefits from coming for a counter-attacking game. So it's, it's going to be very interesting how the game looks like. But one thing I, I, I am sure of, it's going to be a very interesting game. It's going to be a very educational game for the spectators. Uh, now supporters, everybody will enjoy it because it's two teams that will probably be looking for a result. No, no one of, out of the two will be looking for a draw or be scared to go at, 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 at each other because they, have, they are desperate to come to us and they must give it everything they can. And we fully understand their full are very aggressive coming up. They are, they are central midfield, both played well, but... Uh, we also had big limitations with our high press. So it will be interesting if they take him out and it's very important for them because he's strong in the air. So if they catch 22 situation, which because he's not the quickest and in a big field like Loftus, it might be a little bit challenging, but we will, we will have to look at it as, as the game starts and see what happens. The last question from Fawa, then uh, we'll ask the one from maybe the Fawa, go ahead. Um, coach Muzakeda uh, from Israel as a team win. I mean, um, the, the way things are going uh, for, for Sundowns, how, how important would it be for you to stay on top and finish on top and avoid the other big boys from, from other groups? And secondly, the way things are going at Al Ali, uh, it means they might finish second um, in, in their group, which, which, which might simply mean you, you might face speed on Simani. Uh, what would that mean for you? And have you given a thought about, us, about that? To be honest, finishing this is not a big advantage. The only important thing is to get to the quarterfinal. Because this thing of avoiding big boys and all that, it also has an element of having So it has got a lot of, of dynamics. Like you are saying, if we drop the group and we happen to play against Al Ali, we do have avoided a big boy then because after question can you please mute? Thank you. So, to be honest, there is no avoiding anyone. Once you get into the last 
into the last eight of the Champions League, you are most likely facing teams that have won the Champions League. You, if you avoid an early, you might find Esperance. If you don't find Esperance, you find with that. If you don't find with that, you find uh, many teams. Mazamalek is in that space. They have not done well so far. But you are always likely to face one of these big six teams. Al Hilal is not a small team. Fortunately, they are in our group. Mazembe is not a small team. Fortunately, they are in our group. Satif is not a small team. So, fortunately, Satif is not even in the, in the Champions League this time around. So, it's, it's never is. Once you get into the last eight, be it it's KF Champions League, be it it's UEFA Champions League, as long as you are facing teams that probably have won it once or twice or many times before. So, you, you cannot avoid that. And face uh, or facing any other coach, for me, it, it will never be an emotional game. I always look at the game and look at the opponents. Uh, I'm working with monsters here who do a lot of good work behind the scenes to make sure that all the final details about any opponent you are playing against. Um, coach, the question from Belile, I'll play the VM for everyone's benefit. to be so important is to talk this group uh, because. So my question was uh, the importance of a character uh, shown by this team, and and how the Champions League um, over the years and even this is a role in that. The question was going to be. Uh, they always say there is no substitute for experience. I think uh, we've gone past the phase where. It's either you want to play the Champions League or you don't want to play the Champions League. We've gone to a phase where can you win it? And that phase is saying, what can we do to win it? And everybody is fighting in the team to make sure that dream is achieved. And the experience that the players have, the competition that we have in the squad uh, is also helping us uh, to a certain extent to make everybody saying, I want to be part of a, a successful team. And that on its own has built a lot of character, even from youngsters like Nkwit, who goes to Mazembe and performs. Uh, a youngster like Hashim Domingo, he, he can perform in the stage. Kapinga has not been in the Champions League before because he's coming into an environment where winning make out, it's about winning. It's never about a draw. In a way match, we can take anything. We are trying to win, even a friendly match. That's how great we can be. Even a friendly match, we want to win the friendly match. I'm one of the bad coaches when it comes to losing. I don't like to lose. Even a small-sided game, if my team is playing in a small-sided game, I want to win. And the same applies to Steve. The same applies to Coach Ulan. And we, we've got a very nice synergy of trying to make sure we have to every player that we have and give them a fair chance to perform, and the, the players are not disappointed. Yeah. Coach, thank you for the Coach, thank you. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, very much, we appreciate your time. Should be with us as well. Members of the media, thank you much. Thank you very much. That concludes the uh, match day minus one press conference from Melody Sundowns. Uh, we will be joined by TP Mazembe at 5 p.m. This, this afternoon. Thank you again once again. Thank you.